So what exactly is a vascular access specialist and how does he or she help those undergoing dialysis treatment? Here's Dr. Carbone with more. Well, Lisa, today we're here at the Dan River Vascular Access Center, which is available exclusively to our nephrologists in Southside Urology and Nephrology to help manage patients who have vascular issues associated with their dialysis. That's a lot of words. Well, to help you with that, we have Dr. Foley Sakima, who's available to answer your questions about vascular access and dialysis. All right, well, let's go ahead and turn and talk to Dr. Sakima. Thank you so much for being here. Now, what exactly is a vascular access specialist? Did I get it right? Yeah, you did. Well, um, I'll hold it for you. vascular access specialist is someone who exclusively takes care of the uh, dialysis access for patients with kidney failure who have to have dialysis. And what, what we do here is to keep those accesses open and working for the patient so they can always be assured of getting adequate dialysis. The access is usually some creation that is put either in the arm or very rarely in the, in the neck or in the groin. Okay. And that is the means by which we are able to draw a patient's blood through the dialysis machine to clean it out. So is that in essence the definition of dialysis? Pretty much so. Dialysis basically is the process whereby we artificially take over the work of a failed kidney hmm. and by doing so we draw blood from the patient and run it through the dialysis machine to clean it out and remove the, the waste products that normally a working kidney would remove, as well as f excess fluid in the body that an, an, a normal working kidney will remove as urine. But because of kidney failure, patients like that are not able to excrete the water or the waste products. And dialysis takes over that function for them artificially. And all of that takes place in a location like this, a vascular access center. Is that, what, is that where we are right now? Well, the dialysis process itself takes place in the dialysis clinic, okay. which is separate from here. Okay. What we do here is to ensure that the, the access that they have to do their dialysis with mm -hmm. remains open and usable. As, you, as you, you might imagine, these accesses are artificial creations. Sure usually created by surgeons. They have multiple problems that develop with time. Sometimes they clog up and, and cannot be used. Sometimes they develop strictures or narrow spots in them that need to be cleaned up. Okay. And that's what we do here is to maintain the access to keep them open and running. So some of the things we do here are what we call fistulograms where we inject some dye into the access okay. to check that it's running smoothly into the heart. If we find any blockages along it, we have specialized balloons that we put up there and dilate them, just as they will dilate coronary arteries, for example. The same kind of process that we do here to get the access to open up again and blood flow through it smoothly. Well, I'm glad you know what you're talking about because it all sounds a little complicated to me, but I'm glad you're here to help explain it all. And for anybody who may have, uh, you know, who, whether dialysis or they have a concern, can they come see you directly or do they need to? Who, who basically comes to see you? Pretty much all kidney failure patients who are on dialysis okay. in this area okay. come to see us at one point or another. So anyone who is on dialysis can come see you and you can help them, uh, you know, with their, whatever their situation is going on. Exactly. And uh, they will typically be referred by their dialysis unit nurses or doctors to come here and see us. Uh, sometimes patients who know what we do here can come up here sure. on their own and talk to us and we help them out. Boy, they know what they're talking about. And again, Southside Urology and Nephrology, they are in Danville, Mount Martinsville, and South Boston. And you can go to southsidedocs.com for more information or call them at the 800 number.